Hello my YouTube brothers and sisters, how you doing today? Well, things have going back to normal. Everything in my kitchen is fixed, my cabinets is fixed. As you can see, I showed you on the last video that everything is, uh, the walls and ceilings are painted and everything is put in place, my furniture is put in place. <laughs> and it's like it's, the fire has never started. So I'm just glad that it's, I've been given a second chance in life and in this apartment. Possibly going to be the last time. I'm thinking about spending one more year here before I move out to my very first own home with my husband. So I can't wait. Well, I surprised my husband to, well, actually yesterday was his birthday. And I was going to use that as a surprise that uh, we can start looking for a house, but we'll see. We haven't really talked much about it. I just hope soon, because I want to get out of here. You know, no more, you know, if something happens, you know, if we pay for the damages, it's going to be, you know, us and not them. I finally found out um, it is not much as we expected. You know, they're trying to scare us, talking about thousands of dollars, but actually it's significantly less. And I went by the paperwork, looked at the paperwork, and make sure, and add it up, you know, and make sure it's the right amount. So we won't get swindled or anything. They can't fool us. We we may not be, you know, the most bright people in the world, but we know when somebody is trying to get one over on us. So it's not going to work with us. I'm not. I don't let my speaking skills or my husband's speaking skills fool you. We are college graduates, so <laughs> we're not. You, we're not as stupid as you may think we are. So, anyway, we're planning on moving on out of here. I can't wait. And they're going to, once we, uh, I want my house built. Yeah, I want it built. So, I will have to buy the property for it and then get my house built up. I just can't wait. I can't wait, though. We're, we're going to, um, I want to start looking in the summertime, around June, that'll be the perfect time, and I'm, I'm just a little excited because I've been saving up money and everything, I didn't even save, that's the reason why I didn't buy me a car, I had a car one time, I, you know, might as well give it to my sister because she drove it the most, most of the time, but I never had a car, I always ride the bus. There's certain things that I have that, you know, I haven't got anything like other people have. Other people have cell phones and all that stuff. I used to have a cell phone, but I gave it to my mother. She gave it back to me. But I'm not going to really, you know, use it or anything because I'm saving money, you know. That's what I'm saving on. I'm saving on a house. Forget the car. Forget the little necessities. The most important thing for me is house. That's the most. That's the most. I always want to invest in. I, I don't want a car. I just want a house. A house. Then I think about cars and stuff later. I want to have a house so me and my husband may think we can have children one day. We can't have children in here. We we want to have children in a in a more stable and more open and more room, <laughs> uh, I mean, more stable environment, you know, I, I'd, I'd rather have a house, now I can, and once I get this house, I hope that I get it just enough money, so I can just travel, I want to travel and see the world, for the very first time, I want to get out of the United States, I just, I just want to so bad, and if I do have children, I'm not going to raise them to be in a box, 
I don't. I want them to explore everything around the world. See the world and see the possibilities they can have. They can touch the sky if they wanted to. I am not, I will not ever, ever raise them to believe this ghetto mentality. I do not want to raise them and put them down and have them have a depressing life. I want them to be happy in every which way. I will not at the same time underestimate the power of play. I want them to be children. I want them to enjoy their young lives. But at the same time, I want them to know every possibility. I want them to even speak different languages. I only know two. And I'm working on three. But but them they're gonna learn about three languages. They they want to know everything possible around the world. I, I just can't I cannot pass that on to the next generation. I cannot pass that ignorance to the next generation. There's no excuse. No excuse. That's what I would do to my children. I just can't wait. Uh, I mean, I can see my future. I just hope that, I hope everything turns out the way it planned. I just hope so. Just get this house, get out of here, possibly have children, please. <laughs> Not now, <laughs> but once we get into our new home. I just can't wait, you know, it seems like. Everything that me and my husband work hard for is about to come into place. It just feels so good. It feels so good. And I just, I love my baby. I love him. I love him so much. And I just want the best for the both of us. And he feels the same way. I hope we talk more about it when, when he gets back. So, that's all I have to say. Um, I'm just happy that things the things are coming back the way it normally is. And thank you for your um, your concern, your comments, your support. I appreciate that. Um, it has nothing to do with my cooking, even though I haven't really started cooking yet. I really didn't start cooking yet. I just place a pot on the stove, put a little oil in a low fire, and it sparked off and went crazy. That's how it happened. It has nothing to do with my cooking. I can't cook. If I didn't, my husband wouldn't be here, trust me. You know? It is sort of a true saying. <laughs> if you, the quickest way to get to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> That's sort of true. And my dad said something like that because I was raised with both parents. My mother and my father know how to cook. So my father's from Mississippi. My mother, um, she has, she's from here, Houston, Texas, but her mother, my grandmother, she's from um, Doretta, Louisiana, if you know what that, where that is at, um, and she know how to cook from her. I wish I was, you know, born early enough to see my grandmother. I hear so many things about my grandmother, and her name, I, all I have is her name, which is Vernon, and I would I'll discuss that on another video about that name. It's, it seems like it has history and everything, but I didn't know. I, at first, I was like kind of upset when my mother named me that. I'm like, I'm not a boy. Why would you call me that? But it's something about that name. Uh, it's a remembrance of my grandmother. And I'll tell you more about it on another video, but 
I'm just a little happy today. Things are going back to normal. And my future seems bright. It seems like everything that we have saved for, it's just time to use it. It's time to just use it and get the heck up out of here. Alright. Peace and love. I wish um, you have a wonderful day, a wonderful time. All of you, thank you for your support and thank you for your comments. Bye.